just me learning again. Hi! So this is question corner number 25! Yay! So um, if you have any questions for the question corner, please put them in the comments below because I do need more question corner questions. So question corner number 25 is from Riostos, or I don't know how to say that. Riostos. Um, and they asked me, with Interact, how much influence do you have in selecting which city you are going to live in, the school's location, um, such as suburbs, metropolitan areas, etc., the age group or grade level that you will be teaching to, etc. So, basically, I'm going to answer that. So, um, instead of just specific, like specifically focusing on Interact, I'm going to sort of broaden it a little bit because, you know, maybe not all of you are interested in Interact specifically. Um, so, I wanted to broaden it a little bit. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start out with uh, location and starting out with ALT jobs. So, I have notes. <laughs> so basically, in November-ish, um, companies will send out like a thing, like a pa paper, like a survey, saying like whether or not you want to c continue employment with the company, where you want to be living next, like if your current location is where you want to stay, or if you want to try somewhere else, things like that, or like what grade level you would be interested in teaching next year, so things like that. So. Um, when you send that back, they sort of figure out like how many of their current employees are going to be working with them next year and where they're going to be, so they sort of figure that out. But they still don't know actually what cities they're going to have available until December or January. Um, basically, each city will basically decide on like which of the ALT companies that they want to use, um, or maybe not, maybe choose something else. So. Yeah, I mean, no company will know what city that they have every year, that like, changes every year. So after that, then they figure out like where their current employers, employees are going to be placed, and then they figure out how many open spots they have. Um, basically, any metropolitan areas are going to go first because that's what you know most people's first choice is. I mean, I wouldn't really want to live in the city, but um, I know a lot of people do. Um, now, a little bit more about each city is that basically cities here are like counties in the US. So you have like your state or your prefecture and then you have counties. So each county is not you know, there are city like areas in like in the US I'm saying. Like there there are city like areas and there are also rural areas and suburban areas. So it's exactly the same way in Japan. So let's take Osaka Prefecture for example. There's Osaka City and Setsu City and Sakai City and Kishiwara City and Tondoyashi City and Kwashinagoro City and lots and lots and lots of other cities. Um, but the only real main metropolitan one is Osaka City. Um, Sakai City is um, one of the largest cities in Japan. I don't know where it is. It's not. I mean, Osaka City is much, much, much bigger, um, but Sakai City is considered one of the largest cities. Um, but that only has like 700,000, 800,000 people in it, so it's not really that big. Um, and there are areas in Sakai City that are like city-like, um, that are more urban-like, but most of Sakai City is very suburban or very, very rural. Um, there are many, many, many like farming communities in Sakai City and even in Osaka City there are actually little areas that are more rural um, so and like Sakai City is one of those the biggest cities so you can imagine what most of the other cities are like most of the other cities are more like rural areas or, or suburban areas so you know don't get too excited if you find out like oh I'm gonna be in Setsu City it's gonna be a city no probably not um, unless it's like a city, like a major city, probably not. Um, so there's just information about that. JET, the JET program, so the Japanese English Teaching Program or whatever it's called. Um, so JET um, likes to place teachers in areas that are in need of teachers. And those areas that are in need of teachers and foreign influence are the extremely rural areas. So for the most part, you will be in a rural area, or if you're lucky, like a suburban area, if you work for JET. And Interact usually places people in like suburban or rural areas, essentially. So 
Um, if you're looking to be in more a more populated area, Interact is probably a little bit of a better choice. In your application for Jet and for Interact and for any other ALT type job, there are many other companies that um, ALT companies that are in Japan and don't recruit from overseas, but um, basically they will ask you in your application where you want to be placed. The best answer you can say is anywhere is okay. Um, that means they'll just put you in any empty spot that they have. Um, but some people do have preferences. I had preferences. I wanted to be in the Kansai area, so that's like you know, like Osaka City, uh, Kyoto City, or Kobe City, and like the areas surrounding that. So that's what I wanted to live. That's exactly where I wanted to live. Um, and usually they give you a space to say why you want to be there. And do try to come up with like a logical reason. Like don't just say because I want to or. Um, yeah, like try to come up with a reason that they can say like, okay, we should put them here. The reason that I gave to be placed in Kansai, the Kansai area was because, um, because I studied abroad there. And because I studied abroad there, I had, you know, a lovely host family and I would wanted, I would have wanted to stay close to where peop there were people that I knew. Um, because, you know, I already had that network of people. So, uh, I personally think that's a really good, um, reason for being placed somewhere. Um, and some companies do want you to have a little bit of a, an area. Um, so you don't have to say like a specific prefecture or a specific, you know, region of Japan. You can say, I really want to live where it's cold because I like to go skiing, or I want to live where it's hot because I don't like cold weather, or things like that are also very helpful in their placement. But they do try to place you in areas that you will be happy. So they really, really, they really, really do, because they want you to be a happy employee for them. Um, so yeah, but the really, the best answer is to be as flexible as possible. So I said the Kansai area, but I didn't care where in the Kansai area. Um, I didn't care if it was like suburban or rural or urban. I said anywhere is okay. So be as flexible as you can. So now, on to a kaiwa. So um, a kaiwa, unlike, um, ALT companies, like they don't need to wait until like the Board of Educations decide what school they're going to go with, um, which company they're going to go with. Um, Eikaiwa have their own schools placed all around Japan or in a certain area or whatever. Um, so those places are static and they don't generally change from year to year. So not only can you go on their website and see like, you know, what locations they have, um, and maybe you can specifically mention a few of them. Um, or, you know, not, I don't know, but I mean, it, it's like, that's, that's a plus to working for a Kaiwa. Um, and the schools are generally pretty close to stations, um, so that it's, you know, easy for students to come and go. Um, and because they're, and they're actually like more, there are more of them near major stations. So there's a higher chance that you'll be in a more urban or met, like, suburban, urban environment with um, an Eikaiwa. Obviously they do have um, rural schools, but it is, they're, they're going to be generally in uh, more populated areas. So if you want to be in an urban environment, maybe going for an Eikaiwa is a little bit better. So next, on to grade level. So with um, ALT jobs, first year teachers are generally not placed in elementary schools. Um, this is because it's much more. It's a really. It's a really different experience working in an elementary school, as opposed to junior high school or high school. Um, I've never worked in the high school, but um, I have worked in junior high schools. So that is something that they tell you. Sometimes they tell you right off the bat. I mean, Interact told me that they generally don't place you in elementary schools um, unless you. Let's say you had like a teaching certificate in early childhood education or something like that. Then maybe they would put you. Um, in elementary schools, but it is a different experience than teaching anywhere else. Um, so if you say you like little kids and like working with little kids, they'll probably put you in a junior high school as your first year. Um, and for your second year, you can request whatever. You can request high school, you can request elementary school or junior high school. So, um, yeah. Um, currently, like my first my first contract, I was working at a junior high school. Now I'm working at junior high schools and elementary schools because I chose to work at um, elementary schools. So, yeah. But at junior high schools and high schools, you will be responsible for teaching all the grades 
that are at the school. So you'll be teaching first year, second years, first years, second years, and third years. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty wide range of ages, but um, you'll be working at that school, so you're expected to be teaching all of the grade levels. Um, at elementary schools, um, for the most part, unless they're maybe like a really like um, upper level school, um, probably you will only be teaching fifth grade and sixth grade. So yeah, so keep those things in mind, I guess. For a Kiowa, I don't really know um, what like where they would place you in terms of grade levels, but I know that some Eikaiwa companies are more geared towards children um, and some are more geared towards adults, so you would have to choose either working with kids, which could be anywhere between infants and middle school students, sometimes even high school students, or adult learners. So, yeah, I don't know, keep that in mind. If you want to work with kids, you could be working with a wide range of children. Um, if you want to work with adults, you can be working with a wide range of ages and occupations for adults. Um, but, yeah, so keep those things in mind. But I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, thank you for asking a question. So, if you guys have any questions for the Question Corner, please put them in the comments below. And have a great weekend! Goodbye, guys!